Hey everyone, Justin Ward here with your pet tip of the day. Uh, we're out doing some trainings today with some clients. Um, and the biggest thing is distraction training that we're working on. A lot of people don't know about distraction training or even wouldn't consider training their own family dog for distractions. But it comes into play a lot of times, especially when you're in the neighborhood or if you're out on a farm. There's a lot of distractions. And I made a video about dogs on the farm. So, I mean, you got your equipment, cattle, um, wildlife uh, in the neighborhood. You got constantly people walking down the street. Uh, kids playing out uh, in their yard uh, so there's a lot of distractions and you want to be able to stay in control of your dog so biggest thing when it comes to distraction training and I always get back to this is patience you want to be patient when training your dog because they're going to go after those distractions four or five times maybe even ten times so be patient with that work on them either get an e-collar or use a tool of the trade like a leash uh, to work with them on those distractions